So guys, for the first step, we're going to head over to search and type in Task Manager. Click on it. Once you're on it, you want to find anything that says Valorant or Riot Games on it, and you want to click on it, and then click on End Task. Once you do that, we're going to head over to the Details tab, and then you want to do the same thing. So anything that says Valorant or Riot Games on it, you want to right click on it, and then click on End Process Tree. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in Services. Click on it. Once you're on it, we're going to click on any service and click on V on our keyboard, which will take us down, and we want to look for VGC. I haven't got VGC because I don't have Valorant on this computer, but once you find VGC, you want to right click on it and then click on properties. Then you want to make sure that the service status is running. So click on start and make sure that the startup type is on automatic. If the service status was already running when you got to this stage, you want to click on stop and then you want to start it again and then click on OK. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in system configuration. Click on it. Once you're on this, you want to head over to the services tab. And then you want to tick hide all Microsoft services. Then you want to scroll down and look for VGC again. And you want to make sure that it's been ticked. And then click on OK. And then click on exit without restart. For the next step, you want to find Valorant on your desktop. You want to right click on it. And then click on properties. And then click on compatibility. Then you want to make sure that disable full screen optimizations and run this program as an administrator have both been ticked. And then click on OK. For the next step, you want to head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. Once you're on it, you want to expand display adapters, then you want to right click on your graphics card and click on update driver, and then click on search automatically for drivers. Make sure that the best driver has been installed. Once you complete everything in this video, you want to restart your computer, and then the problem should be fixed.